may have missed out some, so please forgive me if your photograph doesn't oh. come there. Okay. Not no, that will come, that will come up in part two. Okay. So right now we shall uh, start with this. Now first thing is that K V Chinappa. This is a big problem, you see, because every time I am sitting in the clinic, they say Chinappa, you must be from Kurk. And in fact, I have some these old Kurki ladies, you know, these old Kurki ladies who keep black cut start off in Kurki, you know, thinking that I am a Kurki. Uh, this, this, that, 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 at the end of that, after 10 minutes, I tell them, I don't understand, ma'am, please stop in Kannada, it's easier for me. They said, how come you got a Chinappa name? KBC stands for Kannur Patti Venkatamana Chinappa. Okay, now, when you go back to his original name, it was not Chinappa at all. Oh. It was not Chinappa at all, you can't hear? Then please come here. No, no, no. I thought this happened only at home. Why is it only here? <laughs> okay, so, 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 uh, how did this name come about? It's a very interesting story. I believe when he was born and he was the one of the smallest in the family. So everybody started calling him Chinna Papa, Chinna Papa, Chinna Papa. And over time it became Chinna. Okay, so that was the origin of that name. His name was not Chinna at all, it just became Chinna Papa. Okay. Yeah, come, all that is coming up. Okay, okay. All coming up. Coming up. Story is still there. So this was, this was the origin of that name and it stuck on. And then we are now, I am blessed with a Kurgi name. So I call myself, I call myself in this thing as a fake Kurgi. Okay. So, so I say I have, no, I have nothing to do with Kurgi, but I got a Kurgi name. And, and, and I also tell them one more thing. Please don't think that Chinnappa is only a Kurgi name. If you have seen the movie Hati Mere Sati with Rajesh Kanna, okay. okay, the producer of that was Chinnappa Devar. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, he was from Tamil Nadu. And there are many Chinnappas who are in Andhra Pradesh called Chinnappa Reddies. Okay, so therefore Chinnappa is not only a Kurgi name, it's a kind of South Indian name. My mother wants to say something. Yeah. His original name, we wanted to print it in the wedding invitation. It's called Ananta Venkata Subbarama Sharma. So it was too long. My father, father said, let, it, let us stick to Chinnappa. So I took the wedding invitation, went and gave my vice chancellor. And my vice chancellor said, Lakshmi, why are you marrying a Kurgi? You are a pretty higher girl. Don't marry a Kurgi. I said, no, his name is Chinnappa, but he is an ayur. <laughs> if, if only that Ananta had been followed by Kannur Pati, it would have been an AKS. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start with this. He was born, as you all know, in 1924. He was born in a very nice place, which I'm going to show you pictures later. Then, between 25 and 28, he went to a place called Betamangla. If anybody has not visited this place, it's one of the most beautiful places. It's near KGF. Okay. It's a waterworks, but very beautiful, picturesque place. Then between 1928 and 36, he was in Mysore, in what is called as the Weavers Colony. That is changed now. And he has stayed, he stayed in this Weavers Lines place, which is in Mysore. Then after that, between 1937 and 1939, he went to the National High School, which is in Basamudi, Bangalore. Okay. Then after that, he did his intermediate college, also from this college place only. And then went to the Central College, Bangalore, oh. between 1941 and 44. Some pictures we will see later. After that, he went to the Indian Institute of Science, between 1945 and 47, and did his metallurgy from there. Then he stayed in the Indian Institute of Science between 1947 and 1950. Then he went to Zurich between 1951 and 1953. Some pictures I will show you a little later on. Uh, he was in Switzerland. Then he joined the Hindustan Machine Tools in 1954 and set up the, um, the uh, metallurgy division there. Okay. And he married Amma in 1954. In 1955 to 1964, he was at the Hindustan Machine Tools. 
and we had a wonderful time there. That's what my that's where I was born and my childhood. I remember very vividly at that place. And 1964 to 1983, he moved to the Inco uh, or International Nickel Company at Mumbai. The journey continues after that. In 1964, he was staying in a PG in South Mumbai. I think it was Warden Road or Nepal Sea Road. I'm not Warden sure. Road. Warden Road. It belongs to a film factory called Sadhana. Sadhana. So he was staying in he was staying in Sadhana's house as a wow. as a. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Huh? This I didn't know. This I didn't know. Okay. Did you mean Sadhana? Then, <laughs> then uh, we he was we were actually when he was staying in the main guest, we were in Pune. He was staying at my uncle's house in Pune, and he used to travel uh, by the famous Deccan Queen. Oh, okay. okay, up and down almost every week. He used to come in on a Friday evening and go back on a Sunday evening. And uh, uh, sometimes we would accompany that. It was one of the most beautiful journeys in the Deccan Queen in those days. Because we, every time you go on a Deccan Queen, the only thing you will be counting is the number of tunnels you pass through. Oh, okay. okay. It's, it's, a, it's, it's got about close to 40 tunnels. And every time you would keep counting how many you missed. Then, uh, then we, we uh, also joined uh, Dad and we moved to a place called Vadala. Uh, it was a building called Prabha, which also shows some pictures. From Vadala, we moved to Sayan. From Sayan, we moved to Matunga, all different parts of Mumbai. Then in 1983, dad moved because mom was posted in Delhi. She, he moved to Delhi and stayed with her. 1983 to 1991, he was in New Delhi. 1991, both of them moved back to Bangalore. And 1991 to 2023, they are in Bangalore in different locations. They were first in Richmond town. Then they moved to Indranagar. And that's where they continue Crystal to stay. Meadows, yeah. Crystal Meadows. Crystal Meadows. <laughs> so this is the whole journey in, in short. So yeah. now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show some of his achievements. And before I go to some of the pictures that are quite interesting. Many firsts here, many firsts. The first batch of uh, metallurgy or other before that, let's, he was the first to travel by motorboat in 1954 in the family. From Bombay to Geneva, took 17 days. Wow. Oh. Wow. Then he travelled in a steamship in 1953 January, the first to travel in that. Then he he flew on the Comet airline from Bombay to Rome. That is the one which crashed the next year with Homi Baba on board. Okay, that was a flight, flight which he had taken. He was the first to join IIC from the family and that too it was the first batch of the metallurgy at the Indian Institute of Science. Um. Then the, the first to publish from India as a, in the uh, British Journal of Engineering. Wow. Then he was one of the first to become a fellow of the uh, ISI, <coughs> and the advisory board. Okay. Wow. Then represent India in the classification of steels and the first to be employed uh, in the metallurgy department of ISC and set up the department of metallurgy at the Hindustan Machine Works. Mm -hmm. So there are many of his first. I'm sure you have a lot more first in baking and all that. Yeah, I'm coming to that. Coming to that. <laughs> so this, this is where he was born. This is where he was born. This is a place called Pandavpura. Okay, and what is also very famous in this area is what is called as Kunti Betta. Many people uh, do a hiking expedition. I think one of these days we should try going there and see what it is. Jagdish, why did they not give you? What I should do? Speak louder. This is a Veda Mangala water works. Okay. Why don't you come and also participate? No, Please go to the water works. Not he can't hear. Where my the fans, father was posted. The fans actually oh, coming. Okay. Okay. You know, this is a special day here. He negotiated John Taylor and Company to have gold mining in Kola gold fields. So where is the water coming from? So they made this Bethmangla reservoir and my father was in charge of the water that is there. Okay. And it is, it is said in the family uh, that uh, the elder, my elder brother was with my grandparent. I went with my parents and my mother used to pamper me, I believe, <laughs> with uh, lemon uh, juice every day. There is a lemon uh, plant which years after we went and there is still a similar lemon plant. I don't know whether it is the same. So, so you went to Baitamangala to see the lemon plant? And, uh, 
that is all this. I, many people think that the modern Mysore was built by local people. No? The person who really did the groundwork was Sir Keshav. He is the man who started KGF. He started the Bangalore Public Library here. He built what is the Bali Academy in Chitradurga. He, he, I think, according to me, he is the maker of modern medicine. Okay. Yeah, absolutely, no. I think uh, there is a lot right. written about uh, Shishadri Iyer. Uh, a lot written about it. If you look at uh, the, there's a very nice book which is on about Bangalore, and uh, it is written by a lady. A lot of such details are there. Okay, okay. 1920s. To think of something like this is, uh, and he was not a mining engineer. No. He was just an ordinary administrator. And still the, the Vaitamangala itself is a beautiful place to for a all the I always have got great admiration. Where is it? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Vaitamangala? Come, come here. Come here. Come here. On the way to KGF. After KGF. Oh, okay. It's not far. It's about one and a half hours drive. Which even today looks similar to this. It's not changed very much. It is what called Harmit Bikitsaya College. Then this is the National High School. Yeah. This is Bangalore. This is Bangalore. And this is to be in Basambudi. Gavipuram. Extension. And Central College, everybody knows the iconic. And then, of course, the Indian Institute of Science. Which is as, as beautiful today as it is. Uh, this is Zurich, where he went and he was there for a few years. I tried to get some pictures of uh, Zurich in those days. And um, the first job in HMT was to build the laboratory. Okay. It was not there when I joined. Correct. Oh, so this was based on planning to civil engineering. This was the first building. I still have a foundation being the heads of the laboratory. Oh, okay. This was, so this was HMT and the Department of Metallurgy where he worked for nine long years. This used to be the this used to be the shop floor there, and uh, we stayed in a beautiful bungalow in HMT for 014. Not this is just a prototype. This is not the one, but it was much more beautiful than this. Airport Road. No, no, HMT, no, Jalalli. Jalalli. HMT used to be, we used to stay in a bungalow called O14, and uh, Sudha, who comes here, used to be O13. Okay, so we used to have a nice uh, fence in between, which used to keep running in and out. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. But I still think all this misses one thing I value most is we did what is called rationalization of steels because we had a lot of collaborations. So we did that in the Indian Senate. I was a member of that and I was very proud of being able to get all Czechoslovakian, Russian, English, German specification, Russian and at that time because people didn't know the reason, exact reason for using things, we said, okay, we will write a commentary on this. On why do you use what? We wrote it in 1961. I think, according to me, I feel that is the best work that I've done. Wow. Moving on, supplying much of it. In fact, there's a Canadian company which used to make almost 80 to 85 percent of the world's nickel. And nickel was very, very essential for stainless steel. And Dad used to travel to all the uh, major steel-producing, uh, uh, you know, factories in India 
Raurkela, Jamshedpur, etc., Salem, all these places where the plain stainless steel was being made. So in those days, you used to travel for almost two to three weeks out of a month for okay. different places. And at least once a year abroad, because his main office was in London. So he used to travel either to London or Toronto to, uh, for this company's uh, work. And uh, done a tremendous amount of work in INCO. And of course, in INCO, the original office was in Hiroshamita Road. And I used to I used to love that office. You know why? Because they used to get lunch coupons, <laughs> which he never used. So because he was traveling all the time, so I used to just go and bag those coupons and go to the restaurant opposite, so that I used to have a good meal with all my friends. <laughs> so it was a beautiful restaurant called Bristol Grill, which still uh, used to Firoshameta uh, Road, Mumbai, and it continued because after that he moved to Worli Sea Face. And early C phase again used to have uh, coupons which was encashable at the copper chimney. Oh, okay. so, 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 so it used to be my favorite to just go there in the first week and collect those coupons. <laughs> and then every all my friends used to be, you know, be envious. Are a Bristol girl. <laughs> so, so, huh? so, anyway, so, so that, those are the memories of uh, his companies and of course his travel. And he was in Enco for a long time. This is where we stayed. Uh, that that building is not really Prabha, but careful, careful. You were such a rabid Indian. How did you go to a company which is marketing nickel in India? So I said very simply, at the moment we are not making any sales in this country. We are importing. If we import nickel, we will make stainless within this country. We will save so much of energy and effort. So I said, if it is not in the interest of my country, I would not have joined this country. <laughs> so, these are the houses we stayed in. The first, you can see three of them but in Mumbai. I left abroad. Why do you want to go back? Why not to stay? Why do you want to work in there? I said, no, I don't want to work here, I want to go back and give Hi. something in my country back for yeah. whatever I have done. So, I left some my own interest huh? and uh, they gave me a certificate uh, saying that is what I wanted wow. and they wish me that. Okay, very good. Sir. Okay, see. It's a prototype of Prabha. Okay, because I couldn't get the actual picture. But um, stayed in there, which was very close to the Canada school. SIWS school. Uh, Canada school. And the SIWS also. And <laughs> then <laughs> this was. What? <laughs> 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 no, uh, that was in Vadala. In those days, it was called Sibri Vadala Estate. Okay, so we used to stay there. Then after that, moved to Sion. Trilog is in Sion. And uh, she was okay. Yeah, so that was in Gita building. So, incidentally, the next building, let's see a small bit of building on the side. Can yeah. you see next to this? Yeah, small, small building. Yes. The big building, there is a small building next door. Yeah. Yes. That's where my dear sister in law used to stay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know you know how it happened. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was and, and, and I didn't tell you one more thing. And I didn't tell you one more thing that both were on the second floor. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you know, so you know, kidki kidki kya chal. That's what you think. <laughs> Whatever. See, I I only go by circumstantial evidence. Which is not always true. Okay, okay, okay. So opposite this used to be this beautiful place called Indian Gymkhana. And one of the most beautiful things about Indian Gymkhana were the basketball matches there. Oh, okay, so we used to have the international or rather the national basketball tournaments taking place and all of us to enjoy that. Then of course this is some of the prototypes of the boat he travelled in. Oh. Oh. This is his uh, publication on uh, which was first uh, an international publication with Professor Carter and him. Then there is one more which uh, with his teacher uh, Professor Ramachandran. This was the Comet aircraft mm -hmm. in which he travelled and that is his, one of his teachers. I don't know if he recognizes him. Dad, do you recognize him? You are blocking him. Namachandran. Daddy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Can you see? You don't. He's reading it. Cheating, cheating. Okay, and that one? He. Grumper. Yes, there you are. See? Excellent, see? He succeeded you in the metallurgy department. Subramanya. No, he came later than you. That's what I'm saying, he came later than you. Much later. Okay. When I was there, Adcock was there. Yeah, Adcock, correct. Then uh, there was no head of the department when I left. Correct. But we used to call the metallurgy department the head of the headless department. <laughs> <laughs> so, afterwards only Brahmakash came. Correct, you are right. All that has been documented in the interview with Dr. Subramanya. Brahm Prakash, I remember uh, Sri Sundaram. He was the director of Kal Kalpakam. He was working at that time with Brahm Prakash on uh, Hyperium and Zirconium separation. And there was no standard samples available. So he said, this is one of my problems. I said, don't worry, I am going from HMT to uh, Germany. I was visiting the Max Planck Institute. So I went and uh, to the Max Planck Institute, asked the person who was working on this project, uh, can you give, help me? He said, all right, okay, I will give you Three or four standard samples of half oh. PM and zirconium, and he gave it to me. And I passed it up to Sundar Master. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah. Super. So and I remember it so well, that's really <laughs> great. Allah. Okay, so this is our ancestor. He's a very famous man. Uh, I, let's ask. Kiram, uh, you want to talk about. No, I don't know. Kashi. You don't know? No. Kashi Shesha Shastri. In fact, there is a full. Uh, book which which I found in one of the bookstores in Bangalore, which says Kashi Shesha Shastri and his descendants. Oh. And in that, uh, dad's name is there, mom's name is there, okay. and incidentally, okay. Jairam and my name is also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so basically, he in those days, if you went if you went from uh, anywhere in South India to Kashi. Okay, you have put there as Kashi Shesha Shastri. This is similar like you know, people go to Hajj. Mm -hmm. And then after that they are called yeah. Hajis. Yeah. No, no, so no, like, Jagdish, it's not like that. This man settled down in Kashi oh. and took sannyasa. Okay. No, no, but he came back to Mysore. Hmm? And then he was a minister of Mysore Maharaja's palace. And a uh, lot of it has been written about him. There is a full uh, book on, on him. And he was one of the uh, ministers who dissuaded the um, uh, then king to surrender to the British. Okay. So that was one of the then parents. That is my father. <laughs> this is this is his father. In fact, in that book, if you see, there are different branches, and this is one of the branches. What is called as the Koppal branch, with and that's why that with shoes, with shoes. So okay, three-year-old with shoes. So that's my that's my my grandfather and grandmother. That is Appa's dad and mom. Have you seen them? Then this is his grandfather. Have you seen them? Yes, yes, very much. Oh yes. In fact, in fact, they used to stay in a beautiful bungalow in Gavipuram. Okay. Okay. And uh, as a child, I used to be there. Uh, and I remember my grandfather used to have you know used to love his food and sleep. And. And he used to have this habit of, uh, you know, snuff. No. It's not available. I don't know if it's available still, but it was tobacco. Yeah. He used to put it in, right across. And he used to impeccably dressed in the evening to go to the club. And I used to be tagging along with him. Okay. The other thing which he loved was to buy fountain pens, which I still have a passion for. <laughs> so he used to buy me a fountain pen almost every week. And those days I remember it used to be president for the red one, fat red one with the black top. So I used to Who is the child then? Oh, that is that. Oh. That's his grandfather. That's his grandfather. Oh. Oh. Okay. I told you, I stayed with my parents. My elder brother is with my grandfather. So that was the time when my mother pampered me, I believe. <laughs> 
This was the Devanan cut. So happening! <laughs> so happening! Really? Yeah. So excited like the hill, sir. He's on the left. Sandy, yeah. I'm in the middle, left is my younger brother now. Oh, okay. Both of them are going on. What are the names? They're very... My, one of my aunties, mother's brothers, was a very good photographer. So he used to take photographs of one of us. Then next. Oh, nice this picture. is mm. one of the things I value yes. most. He was Dr. Lakwe. There is a Goshen uh, uh, Research Institute. Oh. The Karoshan Research Institute came after him by international vehicle. He had come for the Silver Jubilee of ISI and I was uh, sort of put in charge of taking care of it. Dr. Lucky. That piece of the book. This is, I still remember, I, at that time, Prince Philip had come. So I explained one instrument to him by a wrong name. He corrected. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this was the HMT. Uh, <laughs> the visit by the Prime Minister. But they were not able to sell any machine. So the papers used to write. Our best have to go somewhere, but nowhere to go. <laughs> but then Mathurva who came, he made a very brilliant uh, gesture, going to the railways and selling a uh, machine to each railway workshop. So he got the orders <laughs> and then started and then it went So this is the... Uh Standard Institute ISI, where that is there as one of the advisors. Now we come to the wedding. Yay. Oh. That was the wedding matrika. <laughs> okay, that is the one in Tamil, and this is the one in the famous one which my mom went and gave the vice chancellor. Oh. Okay, there. And this is on uh, 5th of July, 1954. So did you have a full number? One second, I will tell you. I met him 46. I just wrote my SSLC examination, came on holiday to Bangalore. We were living in a place uh, opposite to Lalbagh. That building is just like that. My father, mother and myself. My brother and he were classmates. They were in Indian Institute of Science. So, I, we want, my brother wanted to take my mother and me to Mysore, all the other places, KRS, everything, Sri Lanka, Patnam, everything he wanted to see. He hired a car, one of those cars, you know, which is open and the wheel will be at the back like that. He brought that. I was 12 or 13, so I used to call him, you know, my brother Chandu, so I used to call him Chinnapavada, Koda. <laughs> and then we would play cards. Later on, when he was in Institute of Science, he used to come by cycle, pick, pick, up, pick me up, we will go to the lakeside, have ice cream, see a movie, they will drop me back and then bicycle back to me. This is Devanand prototype. But the only thing, I was 12, 13, exactly 13, 1946. So after that, he came back from Switzerland 
I was in Coimbatore, they were seeing grooms for me, but he was determined he was going to marry me. Wow. All this I didn't know anyway. <laughs> My job was only to start this. Okay, both of you. 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 Tell us more. Yeah, yeah, we want to know. Nisha wants to know. What do you do? Okay, there you are. There you are. Hey, I used to cheat him a lot. Oh, oh. So, so this is the wedding. Then. That was go back, back to the Sanjay Rao. Sanjay Rao Chowdhury. Bangalore. Then that was dad. ID card. Then of course inevitable. Oh. 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 Okay, there you are. There is dad, mom and uh, your sweet room there. Yeah. That was the surfing chain. Family worker. Yeah. There. Again. This is where I started a journey which never ended. Okay. This is where they, they made me, made me started this, this, put me on the journey. Okay, where my tummy declared its independence. So, so now, now me and my tummy are separate beings. Jantish, only one question. Yeah. Jok Shila Rai na, was it gluten free? Was it gluten free? Gluten free. Maybe. Thabda ne. Nice one. Good one, good one. Sick one. Don't call. It's not sick, it's spontaneous genius. Okay. Pretty good. There. Good job. Chubby cheeks. There is a competition for handsomeness here. This is the family. Now, everybody is here. My dad sits. Father sits here. See, father is there. That is dad's dad, dad's mom. And you can see the nice handsome guy on dad's mom. And then dad's sisters on either side. And brother-in-law. Sankhya is there. There, yeah, there. See your Sankhya is there. Right there. Amma was born in Pranish Mama. Yeah. Amma. Tisha from grandmother. This is Pranish Mama. Which one? This is Pranish Mama. This is. This is Amma. Correct. 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 Yes. So, this is one of the oldest. Who is this? This one? Me? You? Who else? See, fair, dark, beautiful, handsome, then. Yeah, then you guys can be there. Please. Come on, yeah, Rajya. Okay, Jairam will say that. Don't use the idea. Jairam will say that. Jairam came three years. He was on the way. That's coming next season. Oh, okay. Jairam Jairam. Where is this place? This is a beautiful bungalow. And then this is Mumbai in those days. Yeah, that's my... And then this is where Major Trouble... Major Trouble... So this is, this is my dad's aunt, you know. She is me. Her dad's aunt who used to stay in... Uh, in uh, Bombay and we have uh, many times stayed in our place, enjoyed our hospitality. This is my dad telling me all, you know, be careful. Okay. You have to be really careful, See, you're getting into really serious trouble. And this is an iconic picture where, uh, you know, post uh, wedding where dad is there with three people, this is uh, Aruna's dad. My uncle and my eldest uncle from my mother's side. So this is our house in uh, Bombay where we had a lovely time. Then of course, this is the birth of Madhvi. Dad became a grandfather then. There again, both the grandfathers, the baby there. 
and this was as Madhvi grew up again. This is the family, the full family again once more. You can see that's brothers. One, two, three. Then we have uh, that's the handsome guy there. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> and these are uh, Arthi's here, Anu here, Madhvi here, and this is Anu's dad. Um, Mom. So we had this was during her wedding. And this is of course another handsome guy whom we met sometime in Bangalore. Okay, okay who is somewhere here. <laughs> and Rayana also here. Okay, Bharti. Then dad with uh, Madhvi as she's growing up. Then this is... Uh, then you can see another handsome guy here who is also here, sitting here. You can see Vivek there. So many handsome guys. Look at him now. And this, of course, dad's brother. My cousin here. Then mom's yes, brother. So this, is, this is, yeah, GBI here and his daughter, wives. What? <laughs> <laughs> then this is, of course, Madhvi and Puja. Puja should be here, she'll be on the way somewhere. This was during dad's 60th birthday. And this is our dad's cousin who is in the US. Madhvi, she has grown up as you can see. She is really short up. So tall, yeah. yeah. And this was one of the uh, 100 functions that I have gone through. Shilpal, remember Mary? Yeah. Mary is there. Usha is here. This is in Sudha's house. Sudha's house, yeah. And this is our 25th wedding anniversary where you can see dad, mom, my in laws. This is again another function. I don't know what. This is one of our official functions. Dad was there. Best part of him was that he used to enjoy all this also. There you can see him enjoying one of our functions, medical functions. This is our other house. He stayed in. This is with Saumini and um, Shruti. This is one of our friends' daughter-in-laws. Party and he loved, used to love to travel. Yeah, and this is with Ashok and uh, Namrata. Cousin, cousins. Madhvi cousins again. Dad and mom here. Then you will, you will be recognizing this very oh, yeah. famous uh, so, yeah. Sri M. So, uh, yeah. Banks of Godavari. This was again a function at Rotary House. This house uh, inauguration. Yeah. No, this was at uh, Rotary House of Friendship. One of the travels we went through. This was when Madhvi got married. <coughs> she died and with son-in-law. Mm -hmm. This is during Mad Madhvi's reception. You can see the whole family again together. Ganesh, Pranesh, all of them are there together here. This is during the reception. One of his birthday parties where he cut the cake. As days go by, this was his 90th birthday. Mm -hmm. We'll get a small puja on attendance. This is in our Koromangla house. Yeah. And this is with now the next phase in his life where he uh, enjoys himself with Varun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hugo and uh, this is the late last year. Yeah, last year. Mm -hmm. This is with uh, the family again. Madhvi, Vijay, Goron enjoying his game. So, thank you, Dad. So there will be no questions. No. <laughs>